Ivan Drago, a man with an entire country in his corner. Ivan Drago, the most feared man in boxing movie history. This guy didn't just knock people out in the ring, he actually killed people as well. On this video, I'm going to break down Ivan Drago's training methods that he used in Rocky IV. I'm going to see if they're realistic, and also I'm going to see if these training methods would benefit you if you train like Ivan Drago. Can you possess the power that he did? Well, let's find out. So straight away we see about the Russians, how advanced they are, how scientific they are training and now they're looking to measure Drago's power punches. So now we're going to see a demo of Drago's power before we get into his training methods. Whatever he hits, he destroys. Now that is true. Now he's doing the Versa Climber. Training on this combines different elements of both climbing and running. It's a full body workout targeting your legs, your core, and your arms. And the great thing about this is it's high intensity, but it's low impact as well. So for a heavyweight, you're not going to get injured like you might from running. But now we see him running and he's running on a running track. Track running is great to measure the times and distance and to improve everything, the track and everything. As you can see, they're measuring the time and the progress of his runs. <laughs> Now this shoulder machine here is working your internal and external muscles. This is going to strengthen the shoulder, help it with stability, and the more stable the muscles are in your shoulders will help you generate more force, which ultimately helps to more power. Now this right here is kind of like a seated arm bike where you're turning the pedals but with your arms. It's going to improve your full cardiovascular fitness levels, as well as improving your endurance on your upper body. Now, when you're in a fight and your arms are getting tired, they want to drop. This is going to help with the endurance to keep the arms up. And another great thing about this is it's low impact as well. And for heavyweights, I feel like often there's more chance of them getting injured. So low impact is good. So now he's doing a barbell clean. It would be a power clean if it went overhead, but it's not. And you can see he's loaded that bar up with lots of weight. This is really helping with his upper body strength, which you need in boxing. Now here we've got the stationary sled. As you can see, this is a sort of resistance training. It's low impact. And again, it's great for overall conditioning. But as well, he's building the strength that's helping him generate that power. As you can see, he's knocking people out in sparring. Sparring's not for knocking people out. It's for learning. But this guy doesn't give a shit. He's an absolute monster. Now this is a crunch machine work on your abdominals. And back then, this is like the modern day type of ab work compared to Rocky doing the old school ab work you can see here. This is low impact and way less chance of you getting injured. And it's really targeting your core and ab muscles. And with this, you can put weights on so you can have extra resistance on that core. Now with boxing being a full body workout, you wanna be working your full body. Here, he's just doing this isolated bicep curl to strengthen his biceps. And as you see in the fight, he kind of picks Rocky up and throws him. And that's because of them strong biceps. You can do that. Just working on increasing that power even more. Look at him, absolute beast. <laughs> and he even spits on his opponent while he's down. Oh. Now this machine here, I'm not too familiar what it is, looking like it's working your core even more. Now he's taking the steroids that they said he wasn't going to be taking. Sneaky. Now as for what he's taking, I would guess it would be TRT, testosterone, or human growth hormone. Now I'm not an expert in steroids, but I think what these will be doing is helping them with recovery. Because training as intense as he's doing with a lot of other strength work, the faster you recover, the more work you can actually do to help you train more and get the most out of your workouts. Now he's turned them barbell cleans into power cleans, which is a full body exercise. And as you can see, the bar's stacked with weights there. Everyone's clapping, so I'm guessing he's just done his personal best. So straight away we see in this treadmill here, loads of what looks like scientific things on there. Now I've got no idea what that thing is right there, but it looks good. I wonder what them things are on his head. I wonder what they're measuring with the brain. Have you got any idea? Let me know. Oh, now they're increasing that incline. All the way up. At a sprint. 
Now spinning up an incline hill this steep makes it way more challenging on your cardiovascular system. Also, it's going to improve your leg strength, your power, your explosiveness, and as well, the mental toughness. Running up an inclined hill as fast as you can like that on a treadmill where you can't slow down really pushes you to the absolute limits. Look how steep that is, that's ridiculous. And he's exhausted. Now I'm guessing with all of these wires strapped to his chest, the measuring his heart rate, his breathing rate, his physiological parameters. These types of measurements are commonly used in sports science and training to monitor athletes' response to exercise, such as how much oxygen they are consuming, how much effort they are exhausting, and how their body is responding to the stress. I think the Russians are not allowing him to cut any corners. If he can work harder, they're making him work harder. Ultimately, to optimize his training program, to knock out Rocky Balboa. Now his training is completely different to Rocky Balboa's training. I created this video breaking down Rocky's training in Rocky 1 and 2. Click here and watch this video next.